It's all fun and games till someone gets shot. It's about Jin. It's about June. It's about the story. It's about the devil, Gene. It's, it's massive, bro. And it was there the whole time, bro. In Tekken 7, we can see it. It makes perfect sense now. In Tekken 7, Jin Kazama is sleeping. He's sleeping for the whole duration of the game. He's sleeping at the start of it when Raven finds him after the destruction of Azale's temple. He is uh, briefly chased by UN soldiers. Lars shows up. And once Solaris shows up, he passes out once again. And from that point, he is asleep for the whole entire game. And he only wakes up at the very, very end. And in the end, it says months later. So Jin Kazama was in a deep sleep for months. And here's the new piece of information that we have from Tekken 8. Tekken 8 says, once he awakened from that month old slumber he masters the devil gene in his sleep i was thinking about how people say that jun kazama won't be actually alive and she'll just be like a flashback or dreams or something and i'm not saying that that's true but i could see more as a reality what i think back to is the game awards trailer you know the game awards trailer when he when we saw a little tiny baby Jin hand and he was reaching up at Jun Kazama. A lot of people thought that was some kind of dream or flashback. Another thing, when Jin was falling into the water, right, I've lost, is what he said. And then we saw Devil Jin's hand reaching out to him. A lot of people thought that was some kind of dream or some kind of flashback. Once again, that's a dream. I think what we're gonna see in Tekken 8, what was playing out in Jin's dreams as he was sleeping? There's there's one part in the Tekken 7 story. I don't think you guys will remember this unless you're like really focused on it But when Jin was sleeping and he was being transported in a helicopter by Raven There was a moment where he shoots he turns into devil Jin in his sleep He's sleeping turns into de to devil Jin and he fires off a laser and the helicopter blows up and that's when Jin wakes up because you know the helicopter blows up and he hits the ground he wakes up I want to show you guys what exactly what I mean so let's go to the story wow bro that narrator is trash well this is one example of him sleeping see Jin is being chased by UN soldiers right here and you see he's like he's like sleeping basically he's sleeping he's knocked out he's knocked out Look, he slumped! <laughs> Cuddy's in the passenger seat, slumped! Okay, that's one example. To it. Oh look, here's another example of him sleeping. Basically, I'm just showing you guys this because Tekken 8 is going to fill in the gaps here. Months later, this right here. So this basically is like the start of Tekken 8, what we're seeing right now. So Jin mastered the Devil Gene, so I guess Devil Jin ain't coming back. He's already got uh, comfortable using it. Yeah, he's knocked out right here. See, see, he turns into Devil Jin in his sleep and fires a laser. What is he dreaming of that causes him to do that? Dream was his Tekken Attack Tournament 2 indie. Oh, oh, I, I, I get what you're saying. So when he's in a helicopter and he fires the laser, you're saying that he, this is his dream. So when Jin's flying in a helicopter, this is what he's seeing. I think that's what they're saying. So in his dream, in his dream, he meets Unknown, he beats up Unknown, and Unknown turns into back into Jun Kazama. After Unknown turns back into Jun Kazama, she fades away. And maybe this fade away could be her fading away into another world, another reality. But from his perspective, he lost her once again and then fires a laser. Okay, so, so there's another part to this. There's another part to this. So this is part one. This is Jin's ending. So Jin's ending for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 ends like that. Where's Devil Jin? Devil Jin is a continuation of it. So he's flying up in the sky. He's shooting lasers. Thinking about Jun Kazama, unknown, right? And now Jun Kazama, she's fading back. And if you think about that, that yellow, that yellow is exactly what she has in Tekken 8. This is the only part that's different from Tekken 7. In Tekken Tag Tournament 2, the Mishima Zaibatsu is the one who finds him. In Tekken 7, 
the UN is the one that finds him. So yeah, that is like a different in how the dream, the quote unquote dream ends, but maybe that's a retcon to fit the new narrative of Tekken 7 and also Tekken 8. But I mean, it's a, it's a good theory. It's a good theory. But now the, the, the thing that I'm thinking about is like, so where did Jun Kazama go? Jun Kazama, she fades away blue. She turns into that blue spirit stuff and she leaves. In Devil Jin's ending, she comes back, but this time she is yellow. And what is the difference between the blue and the yellow? I feel like technique there's going to be, I think inception is the word, but we're going to be inside Jin's dream. But while we're inside Jin's dream, Jun Kazama is going to be going off into different worlds and realities. And then she's going to come back to Jin's dream, help him in some way. And then he wakes up from his dream. <laughs> bro, that sounds crazy, bro. What the? Do you guys think that Tekken 8 will do all of that? Because when I think of Jun Kazama showing up and helping him, I think of her just walking through the door like, you know, honey, I'm home. You know, let's master the devil gene. I think there is a lot of story potential in that, but depending on how they do it, it could get very confusing and very convoluted. But I think we're all following along very well, right? Jin goes to sleep. Jun Kazama, unknown.